It looks like bombs went out there. Marty Lynn with the Salvation Army in Thomasville arrived in Paducah, Kentucky Monday afternoon. She's part of the first wave of Salvation Army volunteers on the ground between Paducah and Mayfield, where a large tornado tore through last week. There is a bridge that we cross over. On one side of that bridge, you have lights, power, people moving around. When you come across that bridge, it looks like you're entering into a different world. Her team providing over 300 meals to families Wednesday, her deployment lasting through at least next week. If they ask me to stay outside, the mental health of that is going to be so great, and the recovery is going to be unreal. And it's not going to be, you know, just within a couple of weeks, it's going to be years to come. Back in Alabama, Pam Lee is spearheading efforts with first responders in Clark County to gather donations like blankets, gloves, diapers, and Christmas toys to deliver next week. In this particular case, you have communities and families that have lost everything. And we're right here at Christmas time. You have a lot of children who are going to go without, without efforts like this. That's why Jonathan Lee, who's a med student from Clark County, currently attending the University of Illinois, is in Kentucky today already dropping off his first carload of donations on his way back home to Alabama. They didn't have time to prepare, and a lot of people lost everything. He plans to fill a horse trailer in Clark County with supplies and Christmas donations this coming weekend to drop off on his way back to college. We're going to be taking uh, new and unwrapped presents, um, gift cards, things like that. Donations can be dropped off in Jackson, Grove Hill, and Thomasville before Tuesday. I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.